Okay, folks, right, uh, another book pages. I've gessoed, these are quite large. I thought I would do some washi tape today. Okay, so I've gessoed quite randomly, literally just bunged it on, okay, because I do want to see some words and that, so. And there's one there, these are nice and big. Uh, they're actually really lovely papers, but um, yeah, I've got the whole book of those, so I'm all right using them. Um, yeah, so what? I'm, so I've gessoed, dried them. Okay, that's as far as I've got. So I am going to, what am I going to do first? Coffee stain. Yeah, I'm going to put a bit of coffee stain on them. Not too much. Yeah, then saying that, <laughs> it sometimes happens. So I'll get to my splat box. Okay. I hope my pump is um, working a bit better today. See that all right? Just. And sort of letting it soak in a little bit because it should go on the bits that's not got any gesso as well. And the bits that have got gesso, you can sort of dab it away if you want. Okay, so that's how it looks. That's looking okay. I was gonna, I, go, I am gonna use a bit of color. I see, I love the way that's done that. <laughs> No, me, I actually like the other side better. <laughs> okay. Just leave that. But because they're quite fragile, I do dry in between, yeah. But your best bet is to just do a few and then you've got them to play with. And there you go. Okay. All right, so I'll get them dry. Okay, um, I shall do one up because um, I might keep them for something else. Let's have a look. Um, I'll do that one, I think. I'll put them in there because they'll do for another day, maybe for something else. So, okay. Right, what I'm going to do is add a bit more colour first. Okay, and then I will um, over stamp. Right. What I've got is all little tiny stamps. Some of these are Tim Holtz's and different little things that, quite, that are very small, all right? You don't use a lot, but on here, it'd be lovely. But I do want to add some bit of colour. I actually want to add a bit of oxide as well. So I'm going to put, like I normally do on here. That's running out, actually. I need to get a re -inker for that one. Um, a bit of water. Okay, and then just to give different tones going on. Okay. That's for quickness, and then do a spritz. Because I've got gesso on, it will bleed. So more than just going into the paper. Whereas if you haven't got the gesso on, it might go straight into your paper. So okay, All right. I'll dry that, and then I'll put some peeled paint on. I think. Oh, okay. All right. It's got the peeled paint, the outside one. That's dry now. I love the tone of this one. Okay, that's done. I'm just looking for my double-sided tape i've got a thicker one as well so i'll do a bit of both i've got the thin one and that one it's the only size is that that's a little bit narrower actually that one but that's all right 
I use that one. Okay. So I'm going to do this first for a stamp because it'll give it a, give it a bit of um, like you'll be able to. What I mean is stability for stamping. Yeah, Let's sort of toughen it up really. Right, it's quite big to get in this in the frame. So what I'll do Let's stick that down now there, and I'll just stick that all the way down. That's why you need quite a big book, because I didn't really want the text going down the other way. So, but you might be fine with that, so. Yeah, I showed a video years ago. God, it was one of my first videos I think I'd done. And it was like doing your own washi tape onto vellum. Got to be six, seven years ago now, I think. I have run out of space, so <laughs> could do the last bit. Yeah, and what I do when I cut the sticky bits off, I cut up here, okay, just, and then you don't get your scissors all gunked up. I'll put some down here in a minute. But then what I do is I'll cut up here, so, and you don't, this way, you don't get your scissors all ganked up, so. And I'm going to do it with Grand Espresso at the moment. Might do a little bit of black, I'm not sure.
and whatever I do now, um, could be some numbers. I actually want a bit of gold on this. So, okay, I've done this in something else earlier. I've got a different stamp. I've got the Tim Holtz one this time. So, this is the alcohol ink that I like to use. It's not the cheapest, but it is very, very good. And like I said, you can clean your stamps with alcohol. And if you've got one of those brush clean um, stamp cleaners, you know, with the brushes in, just put a bit of alcohol on that and then give it a brush. It's fine. But these are really old stamps anyway, so I'm not worried. So but I do want some gold on here and I, did, I want it quite random. So I know the Tim Holtz stamp is works really really well so you see that you have got to be quite quick Okay, you can do with it a bit better, but like I said, if you have one of those brushes, I have got it. I have got one, but it's underneath there. But um, that would get all in here. Right. It comes off easily. So, And I leave that on there because I might do something later and pull that off with all that gold on. It'd be nice. Right. Yeah, and now we cut up. Now, sometimes you can actually tear it where that is, you see. Yeah, you've got to remember the paper that I'm using is very old, very fragile. So, right, okay, and oh, well, some splatters would have looked nice on that actually as well. But do you know what? I'm happy with that. So I will be using this. I'm gonna go and get a project now. Yeah, and we shall do something, but. Yeah, I love them. And you can ink, ink them up now if you wanted to a bit more. You know, just ink up the edges and everything. But I'm all right. Okay, they're not transparent like washi tape. But well, I suppose if you use beeswax, it could make them transparent. But I'm not sure whether they would stick to the double-sided tape. So I don't know. But we're going to use these in a minute. Okay. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I've chosen that tag. Um, I have a bag. I made these up ages ago, maybe a couple of years. Okay, they're all out of scrapbooking paper. And I just, well, some aren't, some are kits actually, but yeah. And then just made them in colours and different things. Put some of my, but I thought well, this one's got book pages on, so I use that. Because <laughs> it was more to do with the technique today rather than the finished product. Right, so here's a bit of washi tape. I am going to ink up a little bit. Right, what's I going to do? So we definitely want a bit gold in. That's quite nice with that little colour there like, coming through. That's really nice. So I'll make it a little bit bigger and then cut it down. I'm 
just got that bit of gold on. Oh, you could do any colours and you can do them to suit what journal you're making and just continue using it all the way through and it's surprising how it can make a make something quite cohesive. You know, you don't have to sort of go overboard on it. But so I'm gonna put that there because I want to make sure I see that gold and that bit of ink. I really like that. I'm gonna cover it up, aren't I? It's got to go up there. That's not going to be in balance, so never mind. I do like that bit, but it's got to be covered. I think that these butterfly, um, these ones, were out of um, the Taperology kit. The newest one, I think I got. You know, the mix pack. Oh, they're brilliant. I mean, honestly, if you look at, I ha I've had two of those and frames and look look at all this <laughs> just uh, there's so much in them they are amazing i think there's a couple of my things in the bottom but because sometimes if i like i was doing that journal one night with the last kit and a few of my bits got mixed up but not very much i think this is one of mine Right, that's and that, all I've done with that because they're only on paper is I just stuck it to a piece of card. What are you doing, Andrea? What's that? I wonder what it would like look like varnished as well. Might bring some colour into it too, you know, brighten brighten it up. And because I've used red here, I've chosen a butterfly that's quite bright. Yeah, and I didn't want that near there, even though that still looks alright because that's a butterfly. It does look quite nice actually. Do you know? Oh. I can't cover any more of that gold. <laughs> that actually looks nice there too. And do we want a word? Let's have a look. And if you need any words, there's some on my Kofi site. I'm talking very quiet today. You sometimes I'm quite loud, aren't I? <laughs> That's when I've had my coffee. I don't think I've drank enough coffee today. I'm like starting to mumble. <laughs> I don't want that there at all, nor there. Um, it's not right. It's not right. It's, everything's too green. That's another word I like. Let's see what that one looks like. Different colour. It just got lost because there's quite a lot of green in the card, in the tag. It's better. Now, you know where it lend itself to this well there, but I'm not covering up that washi tape, <laughs> actually. <laughs> it really does look right there. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> Right, it's going there. <laughs> Sorry, bit of washi tape. 
I should say faux washi tape. But like I say, it's not transparent, so. There. And grom it in the top. And a quick tag, wasn't it? <laughs> that was very quick and easy. Uh, okay, I've got the fibres from Taperology as well. Do you know what I'm going to do? You can see what I'm going to do, can't you? So I'm going to cut a length off here. I'm going to split that yarn. There's loads of strands on there. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to put a bit of that yellow in. Not, I'm not going to use all that. So let's take this together. And have a bit. And you could hang a dangle on from that if you want, but yeah, it's just mixing those up that brought all the colours together. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, these can be any colour and everything, and they're good fun to use. So, nice and sparkly, a bit of gold. Great for autumn, actually, but... We're in spring now, aren't we? <laughs> That's where it's for spring now. <laughs> and that's how I leave it. Okay. And I'll put them down. There we go. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Nearly forgot, folks. <laughs> Said I was going to put a bit of varnish on, didn't I? So... I'm going to put a little bit on here. I'm going to use a distress glaze because it's quick and I don't need to dry. So just put a bit on your finger and rub it over. I'm just wondering what it'll do with the alcohol in it. So it shouldn't make any difference because it's water-based. I'm not sure whether it is actually. I don't know. No, it can't be because if it was water-based, it would move the oxides and it doesn't. I know that. And it doesn't. It's brilliant for watercolours. So, okay. Let's let that soak in a little bit. Just might feel more like washi tape with putting something on it. That's what I was thinking. And... Get a new bit of it. <laughs> well, that's lovely, and it does feel like washi tape now. Yeah, and the gold is still there. Dulled it a little bit, but that's okay. Right, so that works fine. Okay, now I am going. <laughs> Bye for now.